you should know this with Graham Elwood and Ron Placot. So this is how this fun game works. Um, Ron knows a lot about music and I don't know much about it at all. I know a lot about movies and Ron doesn't know much about movies at all. So Ron will uh, read a lyric from a you know pretty popular song or band and I got to try to guess it. He'll give me hints until I get it. I might not ever get it. And then we'll do the same thing with a line from a pretty famous movie. And same thing. I'll give Ron, uh, I'll, I'll give Ron uh, clues until he gets it. So Ron, why don't you start us off? with the music side of You Should Know This. I heard there was a sacred chord that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? Goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift. SOA. <laughs> Close, but no. Actually, I, well... I would give you this clue, but I know it won't help you in any way whatsoever. If you would have said DOA, you technically would have been closer. <laughs> I know that clue won't help you at all. But if there's any super music nerds in the class, or in the class, in in the in chat, class, what? I no. gotta move. Uh, I gotta move. I gotta. Sorry, I gotta turn off the chat so I don't see anybody trying to. Um... <sighs> Is this the day the music died? No, but you know what? You're sort of in, I don't want to say you're like totally in the genre, but, but think like a, like an anthem style song. Like you are kind of in that, like this is a, um, and I can also give you another hint. This is a, this is a special song for the holiday season, at least in my opinion. Uh, like I kind of had that, that was sort of on my mind. Do you need more? I, I can, I'll do another verse. Yeah, yeah, I do another verse. Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty and the music overthrew you. She tied you to that kitchen chair. She took your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips, she drew the name of the song. Name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> that i i have no i, I don't know i'm first i'm gonna say i'm gonna go red hot chili peppers no man no <laughs> some people in the Ooh, chat level. were saying are saying it's not a christmas song i never said it was a christmas song it is not a christmas song but it is a song that that i think is important for the holiday season it's a song about love it's a song about the human condition and it's uh, one of the greatest love songs ever written, in my humble opinion. Jesus. Which might explain the level of It's not about him either. <laughs> it's also not about him. The, the level of disappointment in your voice when I said Red Hot Chili Peppers, I think, was pretty, was pretty palpable. Well, I mean, yeah, that just wouldn't be, yeah. I mean, but, but Red Hot Chili Peppers are a great band. That, that's just, yeah. Okay. I mean, so, think more like like a literary type thing. I mean, there's a lot of um, yeah. Um, well, I remember William S. Burroughs did this uh, Thanksgiving prayer. He did a Christmas thing too. William S. Burroughs did that was so badass because he did it with Kurt Cobain. Where he told this, oh, dude, it's such, I have it, I actually have it on CD, because I got it a long, long time ago, and it was, uh, um, oh, I can give you a movie hint. A couple people are, are throwing in movie hints. All right, so here's your movie hint. You ready for this? Shrek. That doesn't help? Uh, you might, uh, I thought you would. Um... It now was, I think uh, it William S. Burroughs Thanksgiving. Let's give thanks for a nation full of snitches. Let's give thanks for the KKK. It's this awful, like, how bad America is. Let's give thanks for kill a queer for Christ stickers. Like, that's good. well, I think his Christmas thing is about a priest who's like, uh, like a perverted priest, and he mm -hmm. and he gets his come up as like I think he gets killed. Oh, it's right. it's like a short story. It's like a ten minute story. And throughout the whole thing, the background music is Kurt Cobain just like 
playing like wailing on this distorted guitar and he like starts to play like licks from like Christmas songs, but then he stops and just hits another chord. It's so wow. badass. Wow. That <laughs> but that's not the answer. I actually forget the name of that piece, but but, but that Shrek. is not the is answer. Something to do with Shrek? This is a... Shrek. Um, and your your other hit was DOA. <laughs> was DOA. Oh, DOA. Wow. Well, all right. Shrek so the reason, and DOA. The, like... reason, the reason DOA was kind of a hint is because DOA is a Canadian band, and this is a Canadian artist. Oh, so that's Mike Myers. Michael You're not actually, My are you guessing Mike Myers? You're not actually guessing Mike Myers. Well, he's the voice of Shrek. I mean, he's okay. in... That's how I know that. So, all right, all right. Well, I, I wasn't sure where you were going. Um, and he's Canadian. All right. Um, um, did he sing this song or no? He did not sing this song. Although the version of this song, this might actually help. The version of the song in Shrek was not the original. This song has been covered many times. God, it's been forever since I've seen Shrek. I saw Shrek 2 in Brazil um, that was dubbed in Portuguese. So it doesn't really help this song. Akuna Matata. No, that's... Uh, that's close. That's uh, Lion King, I think. That's Lion King. And uh, Elton John was... Uh... He did right. some damage on that soundtrack. So this song is one where Eddie Murphy's the donkey. Yeah. So it's his song, right? He's singing the Eddie Murphy sings it. No, <laughs> no, I don't think Eddie Murphy sings it. It's a it's a cover song that's featured in in Shrek. Like it's a cover of this song. This song you've definitely oh. heard this song before, and it's like a legendary song. And it has been covered many times and it's one word and it is by a Canadian artist. One word by a Canadian artist. Yeah. And, and the, uh, the artist is no longer with us. If that helps. Well, it's not Bowie. Bowie's Australian, right? Wasn't he Australian? No, he's British. Yeah. I think he's British. <laughs> Jesus. Um, uh, Canadian one word song hockey. Yes. Hockey by Canada, my Canada guy. Good job. <laughs> hockey by DOA's friend. That's Wayne Gretzky sings. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky. <hockey. laughs> um, um, I, I cannot. Imagine right. what's going on in the chat right now, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's insane. People don't have faith in you. I I <laughs> I mean <laughs> when I didn't know SOA DOA at the top of the show, I'm sure that's when they lost all no, faith for me. Well that's that's pretty obscure stuff, dude. But but this is definitely not uh here. Let me do I'll do one more verse and then if, if nothing hits you, yeah. Well, maybe there's a guy Cher. above Does Cher sing it. Wait, yeah, Cher has never alive. sang this song. She's um, not from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Here, this might this might jostle. Here, you ready? Uh, okay. Maybe there's a God above, but all I've ever learned from love is how to shoot somebody who outdrew you. But it's not a crime. You're you're here tonight. It's not some pilgrim who claims to have seen the light. It's a cold and it's a broken. Uh, and then the song is called. The the song is called cold or broken <laughs> <clears throat> all right i don't think you're gonna all right do you want to do you want to call it do you want to throw the towel on this one you well, definitely tell me the artist just tell me the artist i think i'm close leonard cohen oh i don't know who that yeah i don't know leonard what cohen all right it, it's leonard cohen hallelujah I heard there was a sacred call. Oh, yeah, you've you heard home. that song. And I have heard that song. But you don't really care for music, do you? Those oh, ideas. I, yeah. And and Rufus Rainwright, I think it's Rufus Wainwright who covers it for Shrek. And then Jeff Buckley did a fa famous cover of it. Yeah. And so, I think 
Katie yeah. Lang maybe did a famous cover oh. of it. There's been a lot of famous covers. Hallelujah. Yeah. I have heard that song a million times. Never could yeah. have told you who sang it. Never could have told you the name of the song. Never in a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a cla it's one of my favorites i i mean I, and i think it's uh I, I think it's a very important holiday song because it's about love and it's about the human condition and it's about how and they use a lot of uh religious imagery in there even though leonard cohen himself was uh i'm pretty sure he was an atheist uh -huh. but uh but yeah it's a it's a very powerful song it's like really when you strip it down it's a song about love uh that's why there was a bit of a little con not i mean a bit of a controversy a few years back because there was this uh, Christian adaptation about it that went viral. And, you know, I kind of thought that was wrong because that song wasn't meant to be, you know, a, a song for a particular religion. That song was supposed to be for all humans. Right. So I, I thought that was really, um, really doing a disservice to what that song was all about. Someone in the chat said I should be outlawed from singing if I don't know anything about the song. <laughs> <laughs> Which, okay, that's, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Um, all right. So now, let me think. I had, um, uh, I can't, I don't know if I've done this one or not. Oh, I forgot to check. Um, I might have a better chance if you've done it before. <laughs> um, all right, Kate, I'm going to text you real quick. <laughs> um, the film I want to do and tell me if I have, um, Kate, our moderator, doing a fantastic job. While we're waiting for Kate's response, ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button, share, send this out on your social media. Go to GrahamElwood.com. You can support the show in numerous ways. Patreon.com slash GrahamElwood and Rockfin.com slash GrahamElwood, which is blockchain cryptocurrency platform. Um, all right. I got confirmed from our uh, as my uh, moderator, Kate. All right. Um When Alexander saw the breadth of his domain, he wept for the no, there were no more worlds left to conquer. Oh, man. All right. So make sure you turn the chat off for your side. Turn yeah, I know. I, I did. I, I did. Um, when Alexander, did Bill Murray say this? No. But you're, you know, Bill Murray esque. Bill Murray esque. So it's a comedy, right? Mm, it has comedic moments in it. Okay. All right. I've definitely heard this line be delivered, and I've seen this movie in question. And it's probably not going to come to me. It's going to drive me nuts. But all right. When Alexander, for there were no, mm, so I wanted to say Groundhog Day, but I know that's not right because that was what I was thinking. Because I was thinking Bill Murray, and I was like, "Was that something he said in Groundhog Day?" You're no, saying but it I, wasn't I, Bill Murray. I know a lot of lines from Groundhog Day. I can do that on another one. <laughs> oh, for there were no worlds left to conquer. All right. Hmm. So it wasn't Bill Murray. Was this 90s? This is 80s. 80s. Maybe it wasn't what I was thinking then. <laughs> uh, comedic moments, not necessarily a comedy. And you're thinking, and it wasn't Bill Murray, but it was Bill Murray at, wait, Chevy Chase. It, was this Chevy Chase? <laughs> no. Okay. I feel like I've sent you on a little bit of a boondoggle. It's not a comedic. It's not a straight comedian. It's a an action actor who's said a lot of funny, quippy lines, but he's not like Chevy Chase, Bill Murray, Dan. Er he's not like from that school of. He's not like a comedian. 
Indiana Jones. That's from an Indiana Jones movie. No, but you're, you're, you know, 80s big budget action movie with funny lines in it. This line that I'm reading that I gave you is not, it's not actually a comedic line in the movie. And it, all right. Yeah. And the guy who said this line is not the lead. Ooh. Not the lead. Star the, the Trek. Lead it's guy's a Star lines. Trek. Pardon? Star Trek. It's from a Star Trek movie. <laughs> no. No. Khan didn't say it. Damn it. All no, right. but that's that's I mean, like Star Trek to Wrath of Khan. That's something Khan might have said. It's, it's, it is something Khan might have said. All right, but it but it wasn't him. Um, All right. So big budget, 80s, not a comedy, comedic moments. It's an not, big but it's an 80s. Big budget action movie. Is it a franchise? Yes. Ooh, okay. I should be able to get this. <laughs> it's not from one of the Star Wars movies. That's not a Star Wars line. Nope, that's not a Star Wars line. They Damn wouldn't it. reference historic Back history to the, the Future. Earth. Ah, no. Good guess though. Mm. That's more but Back to the Future is more of a straight kind of it is an action comedy it's more comedy than action this is probably more action than comedy and this comedy. movie i'm referring to oh man uh 80s uh, is that from a rocky movie no somebody put rambo three in the chat rambo right, three I'm rambo three <laughs> I will give you a hint. All right. Since your yours was sort of holiday themed, this one takes place near the holidays. Die Hard. Boom. Yeah. Ah. Alan Rickman, when he walks in to see Mr. Takagi's plans of all of his empire, he says, when... Alexander saw the breadth of his domain. He wept for the, the no more worlds left to conquer. Nice oh. soup, Mr. Takaki. So Alan Rickman is a great bad guy in that. See, because all the Bill Murray, all the, um, the uh, not Bill Murray, now I'm saying Bill Murray. Um, all of the, um, I'm blanking the name of the lead. Uh, oh, this now, now, now I'm, <laughs> Bruce Willis. All the Bruce Willis lines are all like, yippee at kaye motherfucker or like you would know it immediately if i said any of his lines more than likely yeah um, well i've actually never seen die hard i just went when you were just like so this is kind of every year they're just like is it a holiday movie or not so i knew it had to be die hard that's how i knew i was thinking something totally different you've but... never seen the movie you just got you just no, like, I, I just knew when you were just deduction. like, since yours was holiday themed, this is sort of, I'm like, oh, Die Hard. Because every freaking year, there's like some asshole on Facebook who's like, is it a holiday movie or not? And someone's like, yes, it most certainly is. And then someone's like, no, it isn't. Oh. And I almost don't want to see it out of protest just because every year this conversation happens. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. We are still in our like ninth month of demonetization from YouTube. So support what we're doing at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, which is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. It's free to sign up and there's a premium level at $10 a month. And for that, you get everybody on the platform's premium content. Myself, Lee Camp, Ron Placone, Jimmy Dore, Whitney Webb, Kim Iverson, Abby Martin, and many, many others. You can also support what we're doing at Venmo at Graham Elwood and go to GrahamElwood.com. We have a PayPal button and a PO box. I also have crypto wallets, which are all in the show notes. Thanks for supporting what we do.